and I'll just draw an imaginary line here. This line has no, no real, I guess you could say, structural significance. It's not like it's actually dividing it. I'm just using it to visualize the left and right hand sides. You see on the left hand side, I have a higher concentration of my molecules. Higher concentration. And how do you measure concentration? Well, the number of molecules per, it, well, the really way that you should do it is unit volume. But we're looking at a cross section here. If I were to take a section that large, look, I got four molecules here. It looks like I have about four, three to five molecules per section around that size. Well, if I took a that size section on this side, I'm getting one or maybe two molecules. And I'm not going to get too precise, but it's clear that I have a higher concentration here. I have more molecules than we have drawn it per unit area, but if we were thinking in three dimensions per unit volume, than we have on the right hand side. So we have a higher concentration on the left, we have a lower concentration on the right. Lower concentration on the right. And when you have this situation where you have a higher concentration and then a lower concentration, we call this a concentration gradient. The concentration is changing from high to low, and so we call this a concentration 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 gradient. Now what do we think is going to happen? Let's say this is this is what our situation is right when we look at it. What do we think is going to happen?